Definitely. Uh, he's a guy that'll be everywhere. I think as a, just as a general kind of his mindset, I think, you know, he, he considers himself a little bit more of a naturally offensive player. But again, as we talked about a little earlier, he's just too gifted to not be everywhere. Uh, obviously, including in special teams as a returner, as a cover guy, uh, and and uh, the defense is still trying to to fight for him. Uh, he's not going to be in fall camp, and his availability after that remains to be seen. But uh, just how how things played out, we we added a different guy uh, at that position through fall camp. Expect to be back for spring. Don't put those kind of timetables on on things. What kind of pressure? Well, uh, the, it'll be dis, you know just dispersed through the, the rest of the guys of, of uh, you know guys that you kind of go into fall camp of of they're going to be X percent receiver and Y percent tailback. You just kind of fiddle with those percentages a little bit, and and we have a number of guys in that boat. Obviously, Byron Marshall's the natural uh, guy that everybody would think about a thousand yard rusher, a thousand yard receiver. Excuse me. Uh, then you got. A few, you know, a few other guys that have, have played that 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 kind of uh, uh, all-purpose back role, and and we'll just we'll just experiment like heck in fall camp, just as we would have before, the Oregon way. Um, you know, things things like that, whether it's officials or weather or injuries or whatever, it's just it's us, and everybody's in it for 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 us. Um, and there's a ton of guys that have put in a ton of time that, that as soon as you kind of elevate the absence of someone over the contribution of somebody to come you know that that's not that's definitely not our way but we certainly want to do do things right we want to be tough we want to be smart we want to be disciplined on and off the field and and uh you know we believe very much in what we're doing we have a ton of trust in our in our uh program from from the coaches on on down absolutely yeah we we are we are constantly tweaking did you go deer hunting this morning by the way it's the only excuse for that kind of kind of look but uh we're, we're constantly tweaking you know i think that's that's part of it too is we have great people we believe very much in our process and then our process is always kind of in an evolutionary state uh of why do we do something why is this guy going to fit that role how do we make you know how do we make this work with you know the the next kind of wave of, of whoever uh why do we lift the way we do why do we eat the way we do all the things we're, we're constantly churning up the best and that's you know we want to support our guys in the best way we possibly can uh yeah picking quarterback i think is is it has to happen you know you can't you can't say in my opinion in my opinion you can't say by august 29th or what you know what it pick a date uh we're going to name a guy because that might not happen. That has to, to play out. It's kind of like leadership. You know, you can't just say, okay, Ronnie, Johnny, and Danny, you guys are the captains. That that doesn't work. Um, so that plays itself out. I think ideally, absolutely in an ideal world, which sometimes we live in one, sometimes we don't, uh, five to six days before the opener, you, you're, you know, but been in situations where that wasn't the case and it plays out and it works out fine. Coach, what are you looking for most? Scoring. We want to score the football. Take care of the football and score it. And that's that's really it. I'm not. I can't. I don't have a crystal ball. And that you know, I, I think has to, again going back to to Matt's question. It, it has to play itself out. If that if that is decided in a week, if that's decided in two months, that's then it's decided. Uh, but you can't you can't put a time frame on it, in my opinion. It'll play itself out, yeah. But just between all those guys of the, the the kind of young skill that we have, that are again kind of those, those hybrid guys, um, we already had in place a bunch of plans for Byron, a bunch of plans, you know, in our in our world for all those new-ish guys. Whether it's uh, uh, I'm going to miss somebody, but Kirk or Jalen or Alex or. Uh, Charles certainly, all you know, all those guys that have done that before. Taj, Ty, uh, there's a bunch of moving parts, and and those percentages kind of just just work out of where you know 
who plays at what spot? Well, there's a ton of things. You're teaching guys how to practice. You're teaching guys how you know just how how we do things. Our, our older players always do a great job, and our veteran players, maybe not that old, uh, do a great job of, of educating our guys on scheme, on you know how how we do things. Um, but you know you're still not out there full speed in practice. But just how how we how we operate, and then you're in installation mode. You're in experimentation mode a little bit of trying to find out whether it's uh, you know we've got a bunch of young offensive linemen. How 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 physical are they? How smart are they? How tough are they? All just all those things you're trying to filter out, and simultaneously educate, drill, uh, filter out maybe who's gonna you know. In, in down the road, gonna gonna contribute this year. Who's gonna redshirt? There, there's there's a million things that are going on right now. But I think the the biggest thing in establishing, certainly with the young guys, is is how we do things, and then the roles kind of come out of that once you get through the install phase, and and, and that, you know, is a couple weeks away.